Hey guys, so today we are making one of the happiest toys in the entire world, Jigsaw, from the movie Saw. Now if you haven't seen the movie yet, make sure you watch it with your kids. It's a great family film with a hopeful message about friendship and redemption. So go check it out. I'm in love with this, this cute cake. So let's get started. My name's Sophia Vag Vagara. And I have an accent. Let's create this baby boa doll. I started with a 10 inch round cake and I'm just gonna cut it into two equal layers and leave the cake hump on. I'm adding buttercream into the middle of my cake with a giant pastry bag. Yeah. I'm a champion at gripping this, that's what she's. I'm just gonna spread on the buttercream with my offset spatula and place on my second layer of cake. Now I made this template of Jigsaw's face and I know it looks too big, but that's just the angle of the camera. It's actually the perfect size. Cut out the initial shape and I created a second template, placed it on top. Now the first template included Jigsaw's hair, the second one is just his face. Now I'm cutting out Jigsaw's face, but only on the top layer of cake. Now when I pull away the excess top layer, it's going to expose a lot of the buttercream in the middle of the cake, but that's alright. I transferred my cake onto my cake stand and then I started to carve Jigsaw's face. The first thing I did was round out the sides of his face as well as the bottom. And after I cut out the shape, I created his nose. His nose is long and thick. It's a lot thicker than I'm used to, that's what she's- Now when I made the nun in the Michael Myers cake, I had to create their noses out of fondant because it was so small. And I was scared that when I added the top layer of fondant, I was gonna lose all the detail. But Jigsaw's nose is like very full. There's a lot of cake content, so I ended up just carving the nose into the cake. The nose is definitely thicker than your mom. Now if you wanna see me create the Michael Myers cake or the nun cake, the videos are already up. And I also created Pennywise and Annabelle last year, so those cakes look pretty bomb too. I'll leave all the links in the description box so you can go check them out. I wanted to make sure that I gave him like very prominent cheekbones and like a brow bone. His look is very similar to like if you go to Beverly Hills and there's like plastic surgery women like that. That's what that's kind of what you're going for. Very sunken eyes, except they're like abnormally tan and this guy's like extremely pale but i'm sure he'd, he'd fit right in with that crowd <laughs> shout out to mrs mason i know you watch my videos and i'm talking about you <laughs> now once i was happy with my face i gave my entire cake a crumb coat of buttercream and then i placed it into the fridge to chill now while i was in the fridge i was watching shane dawson i just i've been watching it Four days it seems when you watch it you're not just watching like the episode you're also well I'm watching like all of the commentary from all the other youtubers who are like watching as well um it's uh riveting it's riveting I took my cake out of the fridge and I added a very large piece of white fondant on top you can definitely give your cake a second coat of buttercream but I didn't I don't like buttercream so I didn't do that now I made sure to push my fondant into Jigsaw's eyes and underneath his nose before I start to smoothen out the sides of the cake. These parts of his face are like really deep and so I wanted to make sure that they didn't tear when I was pushing them in. And I smoothened out the cake with my hand and then using a veining tool, I just pressed the fondant underneath the cake until the excess fondant tore away. Kind of reminds me of this old racist guy that used to yell at me when I would step on his lawn. Oh, rest in pieces, homie. Then I started to create my jigsaw face. First, I really wanted to highlight his brow bone because his brow bone game is really strong. And then I started to create the inside of his eye sockets, as well as the sides of his face. He has very defined features, which is a huge contrast to the nun because the nun's features for the most part, besides her nose, are very subtle. And I was right about his nose. It was very easy to shape and to mold because there's a lot of cake content. And I didn't have to worry about it getting lost in the rest of his face. And I used the veining tool to create the separation for his mouth and it just hit me that he's a puppet and not just a regular toy. I, I associate that with Slappy from Goosebumps. Do you remember that? Oh. He's my favorite Goosebumps villain or monster. 
Now once I was happy with the shape, I used my fingers to kind of just add texture to Jigsaw's face. His face isn't completely smooth, it's very, very rough and very lumpy. So I tried to add as much uneven texture to the surface as possible. After that, I moved on to his hair. I added two panels of black fondant to each side of his face. Then I just did the same thing and pushed the fondant into the bottom of the cake and then pulled away the excess. I got really excited here because it's starting to look like Jigsaw. I'm adding some defining lines so I know exactly how I want my hair to fall. Now I thought that this looked too clean so I decided to add very random strips of black fondant. I just rolled them with my hands and placed them in random places on his head. I wanted to make sure it looked like very disorderly and unkept. Like he was just like sitting in like the attic for like a million years and the rats were just like climbing on top of him. Oh gosh. And I've just blended all of these strands into his hair with my veining tool. You don't want it to look polished so you don't really have to pay that much attention to it. I used my veining tool to create the spiral on his cheek so that when I started to paint on the red spiral, I knew exactly where I wanted it to go. Now once I was finished with that, I started to dirty up and paint Jigsaw's face. Now I diluted a little bit of black food coloring with some magic sauce and I just painted his brow bone as well as the inside of his eyes. I also started to like contour his nose with some fake shadow so you know how big it actually was. I added more shadows to his face and just starts to highlight his cheekbones, his like butt chin. It's like Jay Leno's chin on like steroids. Then with a very fine paintbrush, I started to color the inside of his eyes. I'm using some of that diluted black food coloring to just blend this into the rest of the face. With some red food coloring, I started to paint the spiral on each of his cheeks. And I was very careful because red food coloring stains so easily and I'm working on white fondant. Now this could have been a disaster, but I just took the time to apply this properly. I painted on Jigsaw's lips and then I added some black food coloring just to dirty it up a little bit because it looked too clean. He has the friendliest smile, this guy. Now when I create these cakes, usually for their eyes I use fondant, but I had red gumballs that were the perfect size. So I placed them in and just dirtied them up using some black food coloring. Then I painted on two pupils. It's like the most precious eyes, like a newborn baby's eyes, or like Rosemary's newborn <laughs> baby. <laughs> and voila, my jigsaw cake was complete. It looks just like him, huh? This is so precious. This is like great for if you're throwing a baby shower, or maybe like for like a gender reveal party, whatever those are. Or even maybe your son is like turning like, like 300 months old. Why do people do that? I don't understand. Or maybe it's just like Saturday and you've got like your kids and your wife or your boyfriend. Or maybe you've got your boyfriend and your wife. I don't know your life. <laughs> and you're just watching Saw and you want a treat, you know? <laughs> I'm curious, have you seen Saw? And also, it's not a family friendly movie. I saw the first and the second Saw in the movie theaters and then I streamed the rest of them. But I, I just got sick of the gore, so I would fast forward through it. And it turns out that the third and the rest of them don't really have good plots. <laughs> but that's just me, because some of you might have really enjoyed them. And we may not be able to kill Jigsaw, but this puppet cake though, we can cut into this. Just slice your way through once, and then you can do it again. And then you realize that he broke your saw. But that's okay because it was your fault for bringing a saw to a knife fight. So just grab your knife and go to town. Now when you're done exacting your revenge, you can just cut out the most perfect slice in the entire world. Oh gosh. I've seen people cut so many cakes before, but this slice, this is perfect. This is perfection. This is as perfect as Michelle Obama. And if you want to see the rest of my Halloween cakes, there's an entire playlist for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. I am very proud of all of my Halloween stuff, so make sure you go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Bye.
Peace.